Ever wondered about rabbit farming for meat production? Well, you're in the right place. Rabbit farming is more than just a hobby. It's a sustainable means to produce high quality lean meat. It's gaining attention on a global scale due to its efficiency and low environmental impact. The focus of today's video is to introduce you to efficient methods for high quality meat production, taking you through everything from breed selection to breeding practices. With the right information, rabbit farming can be a profitable venture. First things first, choosing the right breed is crucial. It's like picking a business partner. You want someone who brings the right skills to the table. In the world of rabbit farming, those skills are growth rate, feed conversion, and suitability to local climate. Let's start with growth rate. This refers to how quickly a rabbit breed can reach its optimum weight for meat production. Some breeds are like sprinters, reaching their peak quickly, while others are more like marathon runners, taking a leisurely pace. Now, on to feed conversion. This is all about efficiency. It's the ratio of how much feed a rabbit consumes to how much weight it gains. You want a breed that's a bit of a foodie, but knows how to keep its figure. In other words, a breed that can efficiently convert feed into body weight. Lastly, consider your local climate. Like us, rabbits are creatures of comfort. Some breeds are better suited to cooler climates, while others thrive in warmer temperatures. Choosing a breed that's well adapted to your local conditions can help ensure their overall health and productivity. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all answer here. It's about finding the best fit for your specific situation. The right breed can make all the difference in your meat production. Now that you've chosen your breed, let's talk about housing and equipment. The first step in setting up your rabbit farming venture is designing a comfortable and hygienic rabbitry. Rabbits are sensitive creatures and require a space that is clean, dry and free from drafts. The rabbitry should be designed in such a way that it's easy to clean, with room for all your rabbits to move around comfortably. Now, onto equipment. Essential tools for efficient meat production include feeders and waterers, nest boxes and grooming tools. Feeders and waterers should be designed to minimize waste and be easy to clean. Nest boxes provide a safe space for does to give birth and rear their kits. Grooming tools are essential to maintain the rabbit's health and well-being and include items like brushes and nail clippers. Ventilation and waste management are two more crucial aspects to consider. Proper ventilation ensures a constant supply of fresh air, which helps to prevent respiratory issues in the rabbits. Meanwhile, effective waste management is essential to maintain a hygienic environment and prevent the spread of diseases. Remember, a well-designed rabbitry promotes healthy growth and higher meat yield. Feeding is another key aspect of rabbit farming. It's not just about giving your rabbits any food, but about providing them with a balanced, nutrient-rich diet, specifically formulated for their rapid growth. You see, rabbits require a certain balance of protein, fiber, and other nutrients to grow quickly and efficiently. Understanding these nutritional needs is essential. For instance, young rabbits need more protein for muscle development, while adult rabbits need more fiber for digestive health. Additionally, minerals like calcium and phosphorus are crucial for bone development, especially in growing rabbits. Commercial feeds are often a convenient and reliable choice, as they are specifically formulated to meet these nutritional needs. They usually contain a balanced mix of grains, proteins, and minerals. However, it's important to ensure that the feed you choose is fresh and free from molds or contaminants. Supplements can also be used to enhance the nutritional value of your rabbit's diet. For instance, alfalfa hay is a great source of protein and calcium, while fresh vegetables can provide essential vitamins and minerals. Remember, the goal here is to optimize growth so your rabbits can reach their market weight as quickly as possible. But it's not just about speed. It's also about the quality of the meat. A balanced diet will not only help your rabbits grow quickly, but it will also ensure they are healthy, leading to high quality meat production. A balanced diet will ensure your rabbits grow quickly and healthily. So don't overlook the importance of feeding strategies in your rabbit farming venture. Health management is crucial to prevent losses and ensure high quality meat. Just like any other livestock operation, rabbit farming requires diligent biosecurity measures. These measures include routine cleaning and disinfection of the rabbitry, limiting access to outsiders, 
and isolating new arrivals until they're confirmed disease-free. It's essential to conduct regular health checks, looking out for signs of illness such as changes in appetite, behavior, or physical appearance. Rabbits should also be vaccinated as per the recommended schedule to protect them from common diseases. Addressing health issues promptly is equally important. For instance, ear mites, a common problem in rabbits, can be treated with prescribed medication. Digestive issues, another frequent concern, can often be resolved by adjusting the diet. And finally, remember to keep a close eye on your rabbit's teeth. Overgrown teeth can cause discomfort and feeding difficulties, so regular checks and appropriate dental care are key. Remember, a healthy rabbit is a productive rabbit. Last but not least, let's discuss breeding and reproduction. This is a crucial part of the meat rabbit farming process as it directly affects the productivity of your farm. The goal is to manage your breeding schedules effectively to ensure continuous production. Typically, a doe can be bred three to four times a year, each time producing a litter of up to 12 kits. That's a lot of potential meat. But to achieve these numbers, you need to provide optimal care for your breeding stock. Maximizing reproduction rates and litter sizes comes down to several factors. Proper nutrition, stress-free living conditions, and the right age for breeding all play a role in this. Usually you'd want to breed your rabbits when they are about six to eight months old. Too early or too late can impact their reproductive performance, but breeding isn't just about quantity, it's also about quality. This is where the concept of culling and selection comes in. By selecting rabbits with superior genetics, those that grow quickly, have good meat quality, and show strong resistance to diseases, you can gradually improve the overall quality of your stock. This is a continuous process, and with each generation, you're aiming to breed better, meatier rabbits. Remember, efficient breeding isn't a one-time task, but a constant effort towards improvement. Efficient breeding practices ensure a steady supply of meat. That's it. You're now equipped with the basics of rabbit farming for meat production. We've covered everything from choosing the right breeds, setting up your rabbitry, formulating nutritious diets, managing health, to efficient breeding practices. It's all about ensuring your rabbits are healthy, well-fed and comfortable, which in turn leads to high quality meat production. We hope this journey through the world of rabbit farming has been enlightening and helpful. It's an incredibly rewarding venture, one that can provide sustainability and economic benefits, not to mention delicious, nutritious meat. If you found this video useful, we'd love to hear from you. Your feedback helps us create better content and continue to educate and inspire. If you haven't done so already, consider subscribing to our channel Stay tuned for more informative content. We've got plenty of exciting topics to cover. Whether you're a seasoned farmer or just starting out, remember, knowledge is power. Happy farming!